enough to come here to do this work. This is a work about um, art, and it's about a specific artist called Jackson Pollock. There are some pictures here of his paintings. And we chose Jackson Pollock. This is a sample of his paintings. This is a sample of his paintings. And Jackson Pollock was born in the United States of America. And he's, a fam he's famous all around the world. Um, I'm trying to see a picture of him painting. Look at him. So the canvas is on the floor. It's not on an easel. He's using different instruments to drip the paint or splash the paint. He did not use a brush. He did not use a palette. He wanted to pick the paint. He wanted the paint to bounce or splash and that was that was his purpose. He didn't want to control the paint with the brush. Part of the fact that the paint splashes, splatters, is what he had in mind. And he would call it that when he painted, he was in the painting. So he wasn't trying to control the paint. He let the paint kind of do what it wants to do. And it has to do with how that, when you look at a painting like this, how does it make you feel? It's not what it looks like. So when an abstract artist, that's what he is, he didn't try to draw an apple or a mountain or a person. This is called abstract art. Abstract art is about how it makes you feel and it, what makes you think about, not what it looks like. This doesn't look like a table or a bowl of fruit, right, or a person. These are very large paintings. If you go to the museum, the colors and the shapes make certain people feel certain things or think about certain things. That's called abstract art, okay? So Kathleen and I tried the best we can um, to try to kind of duplicate what this American artist, Jackson Pollock, because we're studying North America, right? So he is an original artist. Nobody did this before him. He, he really thought about this all by himself. That's what's so amazing. And he's here, from here. He's from, from the United States of America. So when you do this work, you take one piece of paper. <laughs> Without my glasses, it's hard to see. So you take one piece of paper. We're putting it in here because I don't want to, um, I don't want the walls or the floor to get dirty. So we're controlling the splatter inside this box. Thank you, that's very kind. Okay, so we have, I think these are called droplet, uh, by pets, by pets, right? And guess what? A toothbrush. <laughs> do not, do not try to do anything with this but splatter the paint, okay? Here we go. I tried to mix it before I start. Here we go. So you squeeze, before you start, you squeeze the pipette, you dip it in the paint, and then you let go. And the paint will come up. And then, Whoa. I'm try 
one's yellow. See, I squeeze it first, and then I let the paint go up. Okay, everyone needs to sit I, down. Pablo, you have to sit down, honey. You're right in front of my camera. Pablo, sit down, please. Thank you. Put some red. Squeeze it first. Dip it in. Let the paint go up. You see how it splatters and drips? I have no control of where those paint drops or splatters are going. Keep your hand low in the box so you don't get it over your, your clothes. Your mom would call me and say, what art are you doing? My kids' clothes are getting dirty. So don't do that. Keep your hand in here, okay? <laughs> Splatter in here, in the box. See how low my, my thumb is? Way in there. So dirty. That's why I put it by the sink. So now I have a dirty thumb, right? Yeah. Just a dirty thumb. Is this, is this hand dirty? No. no. So I have to wash my hands. Is this another painting? What? Did you take 